Hello everyone. Welcome to the lecture on least square solution of an all determined system of equations. In this video, I am going to discuss how to find the solution of all determined systems. Uh, usually, all determined system has uh, uh, no solution, but we are going to find an approximate solution. Right? Let us see. Suppose that uh, AX equal to B is an inconsistent linear system of M equations in M unknowns. Since uh, no exact solution is possible, we will look for a vector X that comes as close as possible to be the solution. <coughs> this square solution uh, problem is nothing but uh, for a given uh, linear system AX equal to B. Of M equations in L norms, find a vector x in R power x, a solution vector in R power n, that is the n dimension real space that minimizes b minus ax with respect to the Euclidean inner product of R power n. We shall call this vector if it exists, uh, if it exists, the least square solution of ax equal to b. We call uh, b minus ax is a, a least squares error vector and we call modulus of this b minus ax is the least squares error because uh, we are going to find an approximate solution there is a chance of getting a, a error so that error is called least square error because we are going to find the solution using least square error right now uh, let us see the important uh, uh, steps involved in this uh, with it. Uh, suppose that uh, b minus ax is a column vector, uh, that is a b minus ax, the error vector e1, e2, and so on. Uh, the term least squares solution results from the fact that minimizing the uh, norm of b minus ax, that is the magnitude of the error, also has the effect of minimizing b minus ax whole square, that is the Norm of b minus a x whole square that is e1 square plus e2 square plus and so on e1 square. So our aim is uh, to reduce the error, to minimize the error uh, as as much as possible. Uh, that's why it is called the square method. For every linear system a x equal to b, the associated norm of system a transpose a x equal to a transpose b. Actually, for this is given system g multiplied with a transpose. Uh, to find the solution x multi again, uh, we need to um, uh, we multiply with a transpose b a most later we will see that now. The system is consistent and all solutions of uh, one given equation one are least square solutions of a x equal to and if a linear system is inconsistent, uh, a linear system is consistent, then it is uh, its exact solutions are the same as its uh, least square solutions. If it is consistent. If it is uh, not consistent, uh, we are going to find an approximate solution. So, in which the case the least square error is zero. So that means uh, uh, in general the uh, linear system is uh, consistent. It has, a, it has a solution, exact solution. That is same uh, we obtain using this square method also. In this case, the uh, least square error is zero. That is uh, from the I can understand uh, from the last part. Right. Next. Uh, let us see the method uh, to determine the least square solution. Right. Uh, let A be a matrix of order m by n and let B be a vector in R power n. The system A x equal to B is inconsistent. Here, a method of compute for the computing a least square solution of A x equal to B. Actually, usually it is an inconsistent problem, but we have to, uh, we are going to find an approximate solution. Right. So, first step, uh, compute the matrix A transpose A and the vector A transpose B. Second, one, form the augmented matrix for the matrix equation A transpose A times X equal to A transpose B. Uh, control reduce also can compute uh, T multiply with the, uh, A transpose A inverse on both sides. We will obtain X multiplication with X vector uh, uh, into identity matrix becomes X. Here a transpose a inverse into a transpose b. This equation is always consistent, and any solution kx is a least square solution. Now well, let us see one example. Uh, find the uh, least square solution 
the least squares error vector and the least squares error of the linear system. That is x1 minus x2 equal to 4, 3x1 plus 2x2 equal to 1, minus 2x1 plus 4x2 equal to 1. Thus, system of equations uh, can be expressed as matrix form. Right? So x equal to 3, that is a equal to 1 minus 1, 3, 2, minus 2, 4, p constant vector 4, 1. Now, what is our first step? We need to find a transpose into a. So that we have time. Uh, 14 minus 3 minus 3 equal to 1. I came at transpose and then now afterwards find a transpose into constant vector b. Then 1 3 minus 2 minus 1 2 4 constant vector 4 1 2. So after multiplying these two, the resultant vector uh, 2 rows and 1 column 2 by 1 matrix 1 time. Now uh, consider the system a transpose ax equal to a transpose b. Um, so a transpose uh, times a, this is a matrix 14 minus 3 minus 3 equal to 1 and x x1 x2 and a transpose b. Uh, solving this uh, yields a mixed uh, this space solution. Uh, we obtain x1 equal to, you know how to find the solution uh, earlier in the earlier class we have seen. Uh, so in that procedure, uh, we obtain x1 equal to 17 by 1995, x2 equal to 143 by 25. So this is the approximate solution. Uh, the least squared error vector you can write p minus a x uh, b is at the 4 1 2 minus uh, a 1 minus 1 3 2 minus 2 4 x is the approximate solution right on as column wise column vector and uh, multiply these two vectors we have 10 this one minus 92 by 285 439 by 285 95 by 57 and subtract from b matrix we have said that the uh, least squared error vector 32 by 285 minus 154 by 285 4 by 3. So, this is the least square error vector. And to find the uh, least square error, uh, uh, that is norm of b minus ax, uh, square root of this value is called 32 by 285 whole square plus minus 154 by 285 whole square plus 4 by 3 whole square. So, that is approximately 4.556. Now, uh, let us see one more example. Find the least square approximate solution of over determined system 1, 2, 2, 1, 1 minus 1 into x, y, z equal to 5, 4 minus 1. So, as you know, that uh, it is inconsistent. So, apply pseudo inverse method uh, that is x uh, approximate solution, least square solution equal to a inverse into p, where a inverse is nothing but pseudo inverse a plus that is a transpose into a inverse a transpose p. Because since the Cauchy matrix has a uh, column line. So, if this column line, how to find the pseudo inverse A transpose times A inverse A transpose? Because x equal to A inverse in the solution. Right? Now, first A transpose into A, we obtain uh, 63. And afterwards, uh, find the inverse uh, A transpose A into inverse, that is the 1 by 27 detriment of A is 27. And adjoint of A transpose A is uh, 6 minus 3 minus 3. So, a transpose into a inverse, we obtain 0 0.222 and 0 0.111 minus 0 0.111, 0 0.22. And then find a pseudo inverse, a plus, that is a transpose and a inverse into a transpose. Uh, we multiply uh, the resultant a transpose, a inverse, and a transpose. We obtain 2 by 3 matrix, uh, 0, 0 0.333. 0 0.333 and 0 0.333, 0 0.0.333. 0 .0 now, to find the solution vector, approximate solution, x equal to a plus pseudo inverse into p. So, we got already pseudo inverse here uh, to be here and multiply with the constant vector p. p is 4, 5, 4, minus 1. We obtain approximate solution 1, comma 2. So, in this way, we can find the uh, least square approximate solution of a over determined systems. Right. I hope you understood this topic. Uh, myself, P. Suresh. Thank you for watching. We will see you in the next class.